Welcome to the RenoWorks Pro image preparation tutorial. In this video, we'll walk you through the process of uploading and masking new images to prepare them for redesign. To begin, select Upload Your Own Photo from the main menu and click Choose File. You will be able to browse to your computer's folders to choose the photo you'd like to redesign. This photo must be in JPEG or PNG format. It is also recommended that your photo be less than 5 megabytes or 2000 by 1500 pixels or smaller. This will ensure that the size of the photo does not hinder software load times. Next, you'll want to set the scale of the photo by drawing a line and inputting the real-world height or width of the line you just drew. This ensures that when you later apply new products to the picture, they will appear in the correct size. The easiest way to do this is to use a door, since doors are almost always 6 foot 8 inches. Simply click on the top of the door, and then again at the bottom of the door, to draw your line. Our software will automatically populate a default measurement of 6 foot 8 inches for you, but manual entry is available if you need. If you later need to make an adjustment to your project scale, simply choose the Change Scale button from the side menu. Now you're ready to begin a process called masking. You'll notice that there are now four tabs along the top of the workspace, Draw, Group, Visualize, and Save and Review. You can access your masking tools at any time from the Draw tab. By masking your photo, you'll tell the software how to categorize each surface on the home. Start by choosing a product category. These product categories will determine what new products you can apply to the item you're about to mask. Use your mouse or finger on a touch screen device to click on the corners of the first item you'd like to mask. You can use the magnifying glass in the top left hand corner to help with your precision, but don't worry about making it perfect on your first try. You can always click on your mask after to make minor adjustments. With windows and doors specifically, you can use the duplicate opening button once you've masked the first item. Simply drag the duplicate mask, adjust it to fit the next item, and click done when you're finished. To identify siding, walls, roofing, trim, painted surfaces, or masonry, choose the relevant product category and apply the mask by clicking on all the corners of the surface until you reconnect with your starting point. If there's a little more detail required during your masking, you can use the zoom feature in the top right hand corner of the workspace to bring the photo closer. Use the pan button to reposition the photo if necessary. Make adjustments as needed and be sure to use the erase feature if you've masked over any items that should not be covered, such as lights, windows, or hardware. You can also use the Add button at any time to make additions to this mask, either connected or separate. Click Done when you're finished. If at any time you want to remove a mask you've created, you can do so by using the Remove Surface feature when that mask is selected. You can also find the Undo and Redo buttons from the main masking menu. If the photo you are using was not shot head-on or a surface is angled away from the camera, you may need to use the perspective tool to ensure the final product application appears correctly. We will expand on this tool in a separate video, but note that it's almost always useful to set perspective for roofing. Please visit our YouTube page and watch our perspective tool tutorial for more information. Finally, the foreground feature, found on the main menu under the Draw tab, allows you to mask any items that should appear in front of the home, such as shrubs, flower beds, or other yard decor. Use the Add to Foreground button to add new foreground items as necessary. Once you've masked all the surfaces on the home that you would like to redesign, choose the Group tab from the top of the workspace. Here, you can group multiple masked items together in order to make the application of broad product changes easier. If you know you'll be applying the same product to more than one masked surface, you may want to group those surfaces. For example, we may want to group some of these windows together, as well as the roofing, siding, and trim. Now you're ready to start designing. Navigate to the Visualize tab at the top of the workspace to begin creating your new photorealistic design. For your convenience, we cover the full design process in a separate video. Please visit our YouTube page for more info. We hope this tutorial has been helpful and encourage you to get in touch with us if you have any further questions. RenoWorks Pro. Design. Show. Close. Click here to see more RenoWorks tutorials.